Hello, this is Dwayne again from the Geezer and the Young Gun channel. Today we're going to do an install inside the truck and I get to be in the air conditioning of the truck. Hey, this is going to be a great day. Anyway, we're going to install a center plate uh, switch panel for auxiliary lighting. Uh, you can be able to, uh, as you watch the video, you'll see where we got the parts and the options that you have available to you. So stay tuned. And here we go. We're getting ready to install this switch plate into the Ford Raptor 2017 model. So as I mentioned before, um, we're going to be installing a switch panel into the center console of the 2017 Ford Raptor. Now this switch panel will fit any 2015 and above F-150. I believe any F-Series that has a little tray in between the shifter and the cup holders. Now, as you can see, the switch panel, it comes by itself and does not come with any of the switches. The switch panel you can order from special, excuse me, specialty performance parts uh, or from Amazon and the toggle switches are e-support toggle switches you can get those from Amazon as well uh, they are lighted so when you hook them up and everything else like that uh, they're lighted with when uh, you're driving during the day and stuff like that now the reason I'm doing this is because the upfitter switches uh, above my head I want to uh, be able to have independent lighting control for all of my lights and I'm going to have additional lighting on my roll bar uh, when it comes in and I want to be able to independently control each set of lights that I have one of the neat things uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in here as best I can the uh, neat things is that this panel comes already pre-cut with three of, the, three of those holes, those square holes or rectangular holes, or you can have a blank panel. Now the blank panel is pretty cool because if you want to install the rigid uh, switches or those little um, button switches and stuff like that, you can drill your own spots uh, for those. Um, as we get into this, you're going to see that because of the height of the toggle switches themselves you're going to have to cut part of the uh, the panel that we're going to be removing the from the center console in order to accommodate the uh, the lights switches to uh, fully be seated uh, you won't have to do that if you order the uh, the blank panel and those switches are small enough that you'll be able to run your lights up into the access uh, compartment and stuff like that uh, so let's get on with it so this is the center console and the switch panel is going to go right here we're going to remove this uh, little rubber tray out of here and you can see that once you uh, pull the entire top part of this off you'll have access to inside of there now as I was telling you this will have to be cut out to accommodate the toggle switches but it's deep enough so if you want to use the rigid uh, light switches that come with it or those other types that are not that deep you'll have plenty of uh, space to run your wires this black panel right here actually comes out you can remove it removing the panels not that hard uh, you don't require any special tools other than say maybe some trim panel removal tools uh, so you don't mar up your finish and stuff like that uh, a word of caution this panel is snapped into place with plastic clips plastic or nylon clips and they 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 might 
come off easily uh, and fall into the uh, dash uh, which becomes a real pain in the neck and they're really really hard to find to try to replace not only in looking but in trying to purchase them as you can see I have the instructions all set up right here it's pretty simple you only have thing have <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a rough day the only thing that you're going to have to do is open the center console uh, and pull up to start the removal process I'm going to tell you uh, as a tip when you pull that center console up there's going to be some wiring uh, that you're going to have to unplug for this and another wire that's underneath here in order to fully raise up that console the other thing that you're going to do when you actually do get to the point where you're going to be removing the center console you're going to want to put the shifter uh, in neutral you're going to have to start the truck put it in neutral well let me back up put the parking brake on chalk the wheels start the truck put it in neutral and you could stop the truck you could stop the engine from running and pull the center console uh, cover up now there's going to be a trick that I'm going to show you later on that I found uh, quite easy to uh, maintain access so you don't have this panel flopping around and stuff like that um, if you need to remove the cup holder panel and stuff like that when you're routing your wires I had to do that so I had to actually remove this panel which is below the trim panel uh, in order to run the wires behind the console uh, that that took a chore so, um, however you do it is going to be up to you all right once you have the center console uh, door open uh, you don't even have to remove any of the trays or anything else like that because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sliding a uh, trim panel tool re remover uh, right in the space that's right in there and again one on this side and we're going to lift up we want to pop it loose and we're going to lift up once we get both sides popped loose we're going to lift it up enough to where the center uh, console trim is going to be butted up and it's not going to be able to move up against that dash and this is where you're going to wind up having to uh, put the truck in neutral and stuff like that in order to uh, uh, remove this trim piece okay so you can see I popped the uh, the trim center console trim uh, piece up there's clips all along down in here they're metal you don't really have to worry too much about those the plastic clips are actually up in the front these are the ones you have to um, be concerned about now I only have a uh, the trim tool put in there just to show you that I have it nice and loose and stuff like that now once you get this up you're going to pull back towards the rear of the truck to release those front clips and then you should be able to remove that uh, trim panel but remember I told you there's wires hold on wait a minute if you remove this portion like I said when you're running your wires you will have to unplug these wires right here and get them uh, all situated and stuff like that so you can raise this up to have access to get into your uh, uh, the, the well of the uh, center console itself I've already done all that so I don't have to worry about it um, and then I'm, I'm trying to get this done um, crunch for time otherwise I'd show you how to um, pop that loose okay now this this is actually held on by plastic uh, snap clips um, all you have to do is pull up but again you got to be careful because they are plastic or nylon and they're hard to find and hard to replace okay so there she is totally removed um, 
not too awful bad pretty easy to get out if you uh, just take your time and don't try to muscle it out like I said once you uh, pop these clips off or re remove pull up on the um, center console these metal clips will pretty much stay on similar to the uh, front grill or the lower uh, intercooler grill when I uh, did the install for my uh, radius light bar and my uh, outer bars however the plastic clips that I'm talking about that aren't very durable they're up in the front those these are actually the ones that sit up into the dash itself okay now I'm gonna have to cut this center piece out and I've already got my lights run where the wiring for my lights ran um, like I said it was a it was a booger bear now I'm not using conventional lighting wires I'm using trailering wire instead of the red and black that you'd normally see uh, rigid when you buy rigid lights they usually have uh, a three position switch it's actually a two position switch but it's a lighted switch so you have a third wire um, to hook up uh, otherwise you would just have if you just had an on off switch you would just have power and ground now I made these um, I took and bought four um, four strand trailering wire and split it down the middle so I have actually flat wire that I color coded so I know exactly which lights are which these ones are to the rear lights and these are the lights that are going to be going to the spots uh, that are mounted on the A pillar. Those are the rigid Dually XLs and they are mounted with the rigid A pillar uh, mounts that are for the 2017 Ford F-150 Ford Raptor and like I said that was an easy fix uh, 25 feet uh, split it down the middle and you've got 50, got yourself basically 50 feet of wire and you can pretty much color code it however you want now remember I told you we had to remove this center console center section in order to get my uh, wiring ran from the firewall into this section it's pretty tight um, you're gonna have to figure out a way to do it um, but I snaked my uh, wire I have a, a wire pulling tool that I was able to manipulate and grab a hold of the wires um, and pull them through without too much this is the switching that you'll when you pull up and remove this panel uh, you'll have to remove the two wires that are connecting this and another um, deal um, I left these holes open so you could see the actual these are the only two uh, bolts that you or screws that you'll have to remove there's one in the front and one in the back and these are Torx head screws uh, this is what will keep the center console mounted flush again these are these um, are the center console lower panel is actually held into place with those plastic clips along with those uh, Torx head screws so let me get this stuff cut out and move forward and I'll put the spade connectors and stuff like that and we'll start the reinstall all right, so we're in the shop now, AKA my garage. And remember I was telling you this little piece here removes, it just snaps out, um, flip it over. You can see how it just has a little push clip on it. And it pops out. I'm not going to be using that anymore, so it's going to be 
set over there. I went ahead and marked the uh, outlines of where I'm gonna be uh, cutting. I'm gonna use a little Dremel tool with a cutting wheel on it. But I'm going to do something that I always do when I'm using any type of cutting wheel. I'm gonna drill holes in each one of the corners so it makes a nice uh, clean look. Now the instructions are gonna show you that you're gonna cut out all of this. I'm not going to do that. I test fit the, uh, the part in there. I don't wanna remove these clips because they will cause vibration and stuff like that when you're driving down the road. And I wanna keep those in position. And the spacing, I'm gonna remove this little tab. Let's see if you can see it there. Remove that little tab, cut this part out, and cut that out. And the switches will be able to pop right in. Uh, there'll be space for the um, connectors and everything else like that. And you won't have any worries. And you won't lose any support from uh, that center section. Although it is held in here, I just don't like the idea of cutting these out. Okay, here we go. Um, we've got the cutouts made and I'm a little particular. I went ahead and test fit with the uh, switches in and I have plenty of clearance. I always recommend that you test fit before you fully install. Uh, make sure that you've got enough space for the um, spade connectors. Uh, like I said, if you order the, the blank panel you won't have to worry about making these cuts because you'll just have to use this cut out and remove that uh, panel so you can run your wires. You won't have to worry about uh, making this cut out. But since I do have the, uh, the square cut uh, panel and the toggle switches, I went ahead and did a test fit. Now, at this point, we're going to go ahead with drilling the two quarter inch holes that is gonna be required for these push pins. We have to drill them uh, one in the front and one in the back. Re instructions recommend that when you do this, you push this down as hard as you can into the cavity of the panel. Push it down and drill a quarter inch hole on the front and on the back. Or I'm sorry, on the front and the back. And then you'll push, use these two push connect, uh, push pins that come with the kit and it will hold it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and go back into the truck and start the truck up so I can get back into the AC. It's hot today. There you have it. The drill's uh, completed. Quarter inch drill hole on the back as well as the front. And we set the panel, the switch panel in place. Nice clean finish. And now we're ready to go back to the truck, get back into the AC of the truck, and uh, finish out the wiring. And that should do it for this install. Okay, so I've went ahead and wired up the switches before I do final assembly. And I wanted to check to make sure that the lights actually worked. Uh, like I said, turn it on, notice that it illuminates. They work. Spotlights actually come on and work, no problem. I've tested all them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the switches back out, put them back into the panel, and I'm going to leave the one switch that I don't have hooked up yet until I get my uh, LED light bars uh, put up on my roll bar when the roll bar comes in. And then I'll just reverse the process and 
it'll be pretty much easy and I'll be done with that. Here it is, finally uh, installed. Everything's wired up. You can see that everything is working. Everything's illuminated. Again, this one is dead right now until I get it wired for the uh, light bars on the roll bars. So uh, this is the switch plate for the 2015 and up F-150 and Raptor. Center console uh, edition. So I hope you enjoyed the video. One key note, if you, you buy the toggles, when you use the spade connectors to connect them, make sure that you use the short connectors where the wires can be bent so they'll be able to uh, fit into without having to drill the uh, lower plate of the uh, console. You don't want to have to drill inside there if you don't have to. I was able to um, use the short spade connectors, bend them over, and it fit, fit in just right. So from Geezer and the Young Gun, hope you enjoy our channel. If you liked our videos, please hit like and subscribe.